one important component of electric vehicles is not getting the attention I think it deserves. So today we will be talking about the onboard charger. And here to tell me more is Guillaume. Welcome back, Guillaume. Hello, Inge. So first of all, what is the role of the onboard charger? So the onboard charger is here to uh, convert the uh, electricity that you find in the street, so that's AC electricity, onto DC. DC is how electricity is stored in the batteries. What is the power output of the onboard charger? And what does it actually mean in practice? So the different um, power output of the chargers are usually on the market, three, 3.5 mostly, you've got some at 7, 11, and 22. So basically, uh, 3 and 3.5 and 7, they are single phase, which are 16 or 32 amps. And then 11 and 22, they are three phase that are 16 or 32 amps. So you find, depending on the car, those four different speeds. What it means, it's, it's simply the charging speed. So if you want to keep an idea of what you can get out of those uh, onboard chargers, with um, a 3.5 kilowatt onboard charger, you can recharge about 25 kilometers of range in an hour. With a seven kilowatt, you can charge about 50, ki 50 kilometers of charge during an hour. With an 11, you can do about 75 and 150 kilometers uh, with a car that has a 22 kilowatt onboard charger. And what kind of cars would have those uh, specifications? So it's uh, so the market is very big. Usually you would find all the vehicles like the very early Leaf that you would find on the market 2011 to 2013. They're usually all 3.5 kilowatt um uh, charging you started to see some around those years 2015 cars with the seven kilowatt onboard chargers there's still cars with seven kilowatt onboard chargers today but they are more and more cars with 11 that could that is seems to be the new standard and you also have 22 uh available in in quite rarely Renault is the exception because they offer 22 kilowatt ac charging as early as 2012 in the Renault Zoe, in the Zoe, and you find it as well uh, in the new Megane that is out as an option, not all versions of it. So, um, and you can find also in, it in some Porsches and some expensive vehicles. But I would say the most common one would be the 11 kilowatt for a car that you would buy new on the market today. You've owned, you've owned quite a few electric vehicles, Guillaume. What is your experience with the the onboard charters in your vehicles. Yeah. So that's that's quite interesting because I'm going to show you how it is. So basically, my first one was a 24 kilowatt hour Leaf with a 3.3 kilowatt onboard charger, 3.5, I don't know. But basically, it was taking about six hours for full charge. But it was that was a very small range, maybe 120 kilometers real real life. Then the next one was. Um, a 30 kilowatt uh, hour leaf, but I still had the slow uh, 3.6 kilowatt charger, not the seven kilowatt. So it was taking me more time, about eight hours to, to do a full charge, which was still fine. Um, so- Did you have a home charger at, at that time? Yes, I had a home char charger at the time and it was, it was a 3.6 kilowatt home charger. So for me, it didn't make any difference if the car was charging at seven kilowatt. I was limited by my hardware. So it was taking, you know, it was taking just those, uh, those full uh, eight hours, but that was okay because, you know, it's still a night, a full night of, of, of sleep. So that, that was fine to have such a slow uh, home charger. Then I moved to the BMW i3. The battery was about 33 kilowatt hours, a bit bigger. So that means at home, I had to spend another hour, nine hours. However, on the public charge points, 
in the street or at work, I could charge on three phase. So because the car had 11 kilowatt on board charger, which means I could charge in three hours at work or in the street. And then that was very good. Three hours was very good. So 11 kilowatt made a big, big difference uh, when I was charging publicly with that car. Then I moved to the Model 3. So I had two Model 3s. This is the second one. And they also had 11 um, a kilowatt on board charger, but the battery is getting bigger. It's not 33 anymore. It's more about, you know, 55 or something like this, 50, 55. So now it takes five hours. So that's that's quite long. And of course, because of the size of the battery at home, it gets much longer. I actually, I don't have um, um, a charge point installed at home at the moment. So I, I use, um, I use a normal socket. I charge at 13 amp, which is about three kilowatt. So it takes me, yeah, it takes me a full day if I want to charge the car. It's really 20 hours something, which is fine because I don't drive a lot of work from home. But it's just to say that depending on, on the situation, you know, it could be, it could be, um, it could have different effect to have a, a, a more or less a faster charger and, and the battery size really is important there. Um, yeah. Do you have any recommendations? I would have recommendations depending on how you, what is your charging pattern? If you charge at home every day, and if you only charge on public space, um, you know, when you do um, a long distance trip, then you would use DC, DC chargers, fast chargers. So you don't necessarily need a very powerful onboard charger. But if on the other hand, you do not have a home charger and you cannot necessarily charge at work, then it would be quite interesting to have one of those cars with 11 or 22 ideally uh, kilowatt charging speed. For example, um, pra practically speaking, let's take um, um, a Renault, Renault Zoe. So they all have 22 kilowatt onboard charger. And that means in one hour, you can charge 150 kilometers with those cars. So you imagine that if you go to a shopping center, you charge for one hour, which is the time for your shop, you know, you, you get 150 kilometers of range, which could be what you need during your week. So that means you don't need to charge elsewhere. Well, if you buy a car that has a seven kilowatt uh, onboard charger, then you will recharge only 50 kilometers and it will not be enough. And you will need to seek for uh, a charge later during the week, maybe. So this can make a big difference if you do not have a home charger. If you have a home charger, I would say it is not a big deal to have um, a seven kilowatt or 11 kilowatt uh, onboard charger. Thank you very much, Guillaume. I hope our viewers found this uh, interesting and informative and see you soon in another video. Thank you. Bye.